Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am Cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I paid $1 for Super Hexagon. Super Hexagon comes to us from indie game developer extraordinaire Terry Cavanaugh, and it retails for $3 on the PC. It's also available on a multitude of mobile platforms, including iOS, where it started its life, Android, and even BlackBerry. So you guys might remember Terry because of his extremely difficult platformer V, or VV, VVVVV, if you prefer. And that game certainly was incredibly challenging. Now, Terry took some time away from the super difficult genre and made a game about cats having a nice chat. And he is now back with a completely different kind of hard game in Super Hexagon. This is the sort of game that you feel like you can get good at with practice, even if for some of us that might not be true. So there's really not a lot to say about this game, so let me just do some housekeeping here at the beginning, and then we'll get right into the gameplay, because I really, really want to show you this. Super Hexagon is one of my honorable indies. These were the indie games that, for whatever reason, just couldn't fit into my top 10 list for 2012. This game really poses an interesting question that I'm going to talk a little bit about later, and that is, how do you compare the best 10 minutes of gameplay that you've had all year to the best 10 hours of gameplay that you've had all year. It's an interesting question, and one that, frankly, I don't have an answer for, so I copped out and wrote the Honorable Indies article, showering praise onto my favorite indie games without having to cut some of my favorite AAA games from my top 10 list for 2012. So Super Hexagon is also available in the current Humble Bundle. The Humble Bundle for Android or with Android or whatever the hell they're calling it now. And I think that's the fifth Android bundle. There's some repetition in this bundle, but I think overall it's still worth purchasing. And I would say Super Hexagon is almost worth the price in and of itself. Even though if you want to get Super Hexagon, you have to pay like seven bucks, which is technically more than twice as much as you could get Super Hexagon alone for. But hey, you get some good games, and if you've already got some of them, maybe you can uh, pass those codes on to friends. You know, make the world a better place by giving away wonderful games to people who you like. So with all of that out of the way, there's nothing left to do but actually play the game. <sighs> I'm going to give you a disclaimer, guys. I'm going to suck at this game, and it's not the normal disclaimer that a lot of these talking head game commentators give you. Well, I'm playing the game, and I'm talking at the same time, and that's not very easy to do. No, I just suck at this game. Look, 48 seconds is my best time on the easiest level. And you also notice the easiest level is hard. And that really says a lot about this game. So you've got Hexagon, you've got Hexagoner, and Hexagonist. Those are your three initial difficulty levels. Then you have three more difficulty levels as you hit certain milestones on the first three. You're going to unlock those. If you're really feeling like getting your butt chewed up, you can go over to Options and you can enable Arcade Mode, which will actually allow you to access all the difficulty levels and just really get yourself destroyed. Now, people have beaten this game. So it's possible. I don't see how. I didn't actually know that the human body, that the that the synapses in your brain could fire fast enough to allow you to actually then send electrical signals to your muscles to make your fingers move in time to actually get through some of the stuff that this game throws at you, but apparently I'm wrong. Or there's actually a secret race of androids or cyborgs living amongst us who have all beat Super Hexagon. Either way, Let's get into it. Let's play the game. Be your own judge. Look at the game. Enjoy the game. And then go buy the game. Because honestly, it's well worth having. Again. Here we go. This is me. I'm a triangle. I want to live. So I'm avoiding all of these walls that are slowly collapsing in on me. And that's pretty much what the game is. As you can see... As you can see, it gets faster. It gets more difficult. And yeah, it eventually gets impossible for somebody like me. But I always have that hope that I could actually play and actually get better. This really feels like a skill-based game, more so than any other game where you're playing and you're trying to hit a perfect platform at just the right angle. You know, I feel like if I practiced a lot, I could actually get better at this game. 
Now, one thing I've got to point out is the amazing soundtrack by Chipzel. There's only three or four tunes in the soundtrack, but really that doesn't matter because they're used in such a great way that you almost never even notice. Put on headphones and blast the music while you're playing. It'll really help you get into the groove. I mean, even a rhythmless son of a bitch like me is bobbing his head and tapping his foot as he's playing the game, and it really does help. You kind of start to feel the beats. You can sort of see how the, the, the lines that are coming at you pulsate sort of with the rhythm, and it really does help you. It really, really does. And as you embrace that rhythm, that's when you start to get better at the game. I mean, I hate to say it. It makes you look a little bit silly if you're on a bus or something, and you're uh, playing this or on a train like I was the other day. But, you know, I got some of my best scores on that train ride, so... Yeah, I, and I can't really knock it. I don't care if a bunch of people on an Amtrak thought I looked like a loser. So there isn't really a whole lot to say about this game. You are seeing what it is. I think probably the best thing I can do at this point is uh, give you a quick glimpse of the harder difficulty levels and then send you on your way because uh, honestly, Super Hexagon is Super Hexagon. Ain't nothing going to change about it. It's not going to get a whole lot more complicated than this uh, except for when it gets a whole lot more complicated than this which maybe you'll see in a minute. Oh, like right here. That's not visually difficult or anything, is it? You're going to get a lot of that stuff, so be prepared. Let's move on to a harder difficulty, just take a quick look at it, and we'll finish things up here. I don't want to keep you a long time. I want to let you get over to HumbleBundle.com and pick up the latest Android bundle, which contains Game. Super Hexagon. So here we go. Game over. That's about how long that lasts on average for me. All right, Hexagonist. <laughs> what can we do? Can I get past three seconds? Oh, I did it. Five seconds. Can I get past five seconds? I don't know. Let's see. No. So the really great thing about this, though, and I would recommend actually playing some Hexagonist, is after you've played some Hexagonist, go back to Hexagon. And all of a sudden, this is a slow drive in the English countryside. This is just laid back. Oh, yeah. I'm taking sips of sweet iced tea between waves here. I'm just hanging out. I got no problems. I'm talking, I'm flipping my triangle around. Oh, happy day, happy day. So uh, the final thing I'll hit you with here is the control methods for this game. Lots of different control methods. Now, you can control it with your Xbox 360 controller right out of the box, works perfectly. Uh, I can use, I personally use the uh, L and R triggers because I really like the feel of that. Uh, but ooh, okay, feel a little accomplished when you do something like that, even if it wasn't really that difficult. Uh, you can use the left and right bumpers, you can use the analog stick left and right, you can use the directional pad, uh, you can use all kinds of different things. Oh, that felt like a really good run to control this. You can use the keyboard, you can use left and right mouse buttons, I do believe. All sorts of way to, ways to control this. Pick the one that feels good to you and stick with it. That's my only recommendation to you as a skilled player of Super Hexagon. That's my pro tip. Pick a control method and stick with it. Uh, but find the one that you feel comfortable with and, and you know, then practice with that because it really it becomes all about feel at a certain point with this game. Look at me talking like I know how to play this game. <laughs> game over. All right, guys, I have been Big Dave, and uh, really, I'm, I'm happy to be back making videos again. You will start to see more videos coming from me. Look for my Honorable Indies article in the next couple of days, and then a few videos to follow, maybe one or two a week as we get into April. Uh, weird, weird transitional point in my life right now, and uh, you know, it's, it's just gonna be a time where making videos takes a back seat, but also a time where making videos serves as a nice way to unwind. So uh, do look for more content from me in the days ahead. And oh my God, until next time, take it easy. Again.